We have the ability now to do amazing things for animals. We can have all the same medical interventions that we would have in human medicine. And I think sometimes we need to decide how far should we be taking things. There's no part of veterinary practice that doesn't include an ethical element. Are we looking at the animal's quality of life? Are we making the decisions for ourselves, for the animals, for the clients? It's not just some academic exercise. It's helpful to be able to understand that ethics. It helps you in practice. My mission for this conference is for it to be seen as an international model for educating students in the topics of ethics and welfare. The speakers have been invited here and given their time freely, which we really appreciate, but also they've been invited because of their, their practical real life experiences. It's been focused on what delegates need. It's not people presenting the research that they've done. It's thinking, right, what actually is going to be helpful? And that's absolutely important and I think needs to be replicated. Students are really interested in attending conferences but they might just get priced out. What's special about this conference is that because of our sponsors and because it was held local, we were able to keep prices really low and not have that be like a restrictive factor, which is super important when the majority of the delegates are students. For me, what's been surprising is uh, the amount of, of enthusiasm and additional work that students have put into organising this. For me, it's really inspiring to see how much of a priority this has been for the students. We have 150 delegates attending the conference here at this veterinary school. What if we repeated this model worldwide? I mean, think of all the people that we could educate, think of all the veterinary students we could reach. We've had an amazing response, it's been awesome. I, mean, I think the fact that this has been driven by the students, primarily by, by Morgan, um, means that there's, there's a vested interest from the students to participate. They're still talking about the issues when they're coming out of workshops, which is always a great sign. The level of conversation has been uh, extraordinarily sophisticated. We're touching issues like euthanasia, we're touching issues like the ethics of surgical intervention, like uh, what to do when you're disagreeing with your colleagues, what do you do when you make a mistake. These are difficult issues. I don't think we can actually talk about them enough. And the more we talk about this stuff, the better practitioners we're going to be, the more confident we're going to be, and just overall we'll be happier in practice because we'll feel more prepared. Whether you're working in small, zoo, farm, wildlife, whether you're in policy, frontline specialist, the ethical dilemmas might be slightly different, but they're there, they're absolutely integral to what we do. And of course, positively, that's why being a vet is such a great vocation, because you're having that positive ethical impact.